So here I need to order, I need to, you know, rearrange the, uh, you know, the original slides. So here when I rearrange, I sometimes I need to add a lot of details because for the online mode, we do not have the question answer opportunity in class. So a lot of things I need to give more details. So that's why. So you will see actually more slides than we usually have in the regular classroom. All right. General solution case one. In this case, we just consider n equals 3k plus 1. Yeah. So in this case, we, so based on the balancing principle, we try to divide the total number of coins in three piles and make them close to evenly distributed. Yeah. As close as possible. So here we do the three piles like this. K, K, K plus 1. Okay. After that, now when we do our first weighing, we put pile 1 and a pile 2 on the scale. So we get basically two cases. So in class, I give you three cases. But here, I try to, you know, try to reduce, try to simplify those three cases. So I put an uh, uneven case, you know, for the first one. One pile one lighter than pile two, then we know pile one should have the fake coin. The other one, similar, right, just still uneven, so I put them in the first case. Pile 2 lighter than pile 1, so we know the fake is in pile 2. Then the remaining, the last case, even case. So in this situation, we know pile 3 contains the fake. Yeah. All right. So now, after one wing like this, what conclusion can we have? So, look at this question. Which case is the worst? Because to solve this problem completely, we should consider the worst case. So, which case is the worst? Okay, all right. So here, I want to remind you in last class, I give you a very interesting argument. It is called adversary argument. Okay, so we create a very smart adversary. So we use this adversary to help us make the best decision. The adversary will always give us the worst case. Okay, so in this situation, I think the adversary. So for example, for this case, the fake is in, oh, yeah, all right. So the fake is in pile one, the size is K. For this case, the fake is in pile two, the size also K. But in this case, the fake is in pile three, the size is K plus one. Which one do you think our adversary will choose to make our life harder? So definitely, it is pile three. So based on the adversary argument, we will get this case for the worst we get, right? So now the conclusion. The size reduction will be after this weighing from 
3k uh, plus 1 to k plus 1. Okay, all right, so let's go to the next slide. Yeah. All right. This time we consider case 2 for the general solution n equals 3k plus 2. Okay. So we distribute the coins like this k plus 1, k plus 1, and a k. So similar idea, we put pile 1, pile 2 on the scale and divide it into two cases, uneven and even. For the uneven, the first subcase, fake is in pile 1. Second subcase, the fake is in pile 2. Uh, even case, the fake is in pile 3. Okay, now adversary argument again. For the worst case, we should have the fake either in pile 1 or pile 2, but not in pile 3. Okay, right? yeah. So you can see the size reduction for this case number 2 from 3k plus 2 to k plus 1. Okay? So after this, we cover all the possible cases. Okay? All right. So next, conclusion. So first we look at the size reduction. For the general case, n equals 3k, 3 plus 1, 3k plus 1, and 3k plus 2. Only these three possibilities. For 3k case, the reduction is to size k. The next one to size k plus 1. The last case also to size k plus 1. Okay? But after that, we need to use the same way again and again. So we will do further reductions and keep going all the way to size 1. So the last step, if we get to size 1, we solve the problem. Okay? Now we need to find the answer. So for this general solution, <coughs> we need to find the answer. <coughs> so we need to find the number of reductions. That means the number of ways. Okay, same number. Yeah. So let's look at it for a general n. <coughs> How to get the total number of reductions. Yeah. So if you look at this problem directly, it looks like it may not be easy because we do not know it is the 3k case, 3k plus 1 case, or 3k plus 2 case. Especially when we do many reductions, how do we know what cases we are using at each way? So that looks very complicated. But if we take some special view, so here, this view are used several times in our class. So for a general n, we can find s, a positive integer s, such that, yeah, not necessarily positive integer, non-negative integer, okay, such that 3 to the s less than or equal to n strictly less than 3 to the k plus 1. Okay? So we can always have this. Okay? Then we can find expression in log base 3, like this. Okay? Now, so let's try to get our answer. Yeah. First, let's look at the lower bound. When n equals 3 to the s, how many weighing do we need? 
we do size reduction every time we divide it by 3. Every time we can divide it by 3. So you can see we just need how many? S-wings. Yeah, that's simple. The upper bound, 3 to the S plus 1, how many wings? Similarly, S plus 1 wings. Now, M between these two numbers, how many? Okay. Which side we should take? The lower side, S, or the higher side, S plus 1. Okay, so here I may like you to think about. So, some of you I feel you may have the answer immediately, but so for some of you, if you do not have the immediate answer, I may like you to think about n equals four case. When n equals four, yeah, larger than three. When you do size reduction. Can you use one wing to reduce to size one? You cannot. You have to use two wing. So that means you should go the upper side, S plus one, not the lower side, S. Yeah. So now we can get an answer. So the answer should be, so all the integer between, but we can choose which side we go. So because we go the upper side, we should take the ceiling function. So the answer is this expression, we use the ceiling function. Okay. All right, so that's the final answer. Okay. So after we get this answer, next, I'd like to give you one simple example for this question. Okay? All right. We apply our final result to solve a simple problem. Okay. So let me give you the question first. When n equals 59, what is the number of ways to solve the fake coin problem? Here, because there are many versions. So here I refer to version our problem number 14. For the solution, let's do size reduction. So here, I show you two ways to do it. The first way, size reduction. We start with size 59. Now we do first weighing. The first weighing, what size can we reduce the problem to? Okay. Now let's write 59 as 3 times 19 plus 2. So it's a 3 plus 2 case. Based on our result before, we know the answer should be k plus 1, 19 plus 1. So the size is reduced to 20 for the worst case after one weighing. Next weighing, number 2, because 20 equals 3 times 6 plus 2, another 3k plus 2 case. Based on our method, it should be k plus 1. 6 plus 1, that is 7. So we reduce the problem size to 7. Weighing number 3, 7 equals 3 times 2 plus 1. So the size should be 2 plus 1. 3. Okay? It is a multiple of 3, so the last way we can reduce the problem size to 1, and we solve the problem. Okay? So this is the first method. S step by step, each size reduction step, we have the explicit formula to, you know, to follow. Yeah. But there is another simple, fast way to solve this problem because we already have the formula. The ceiling function of log base 3 of n. So let's apply this formula directly. We know 59, it is between 3 cube 
and 3 to the 4th. 3 cubed, that's 27. 3 to the 4th, that's 81, right? So you can see that if we take the ceiling function, it is 4. Okay? All right. Now, because we have two ways to solve this simple problem, but I believe most of you like to use the formula way because it is fast. It is just one. But sometimes I may modify my question in a different way so you may not be able to apply the formula directly. So let me show you my question now. Question given 59 coins. To solve the fake coin problem version prob 14, how many weighings do we need to get the fake coin that it, uh, to get that the fake coin is in a seven coin pile? See? I do not ask you to solve the complete problem. I just ask you to solve the partial problem. Get to the point the problem size is 7. So in this way, you need to use the method 1. Okay? Yeah. So I think it is very hard to apply the log formula directly. Okay? All right. So that's it for this general solution. So you can see we spend a lot of time so in order to give you all the details, we use a lot of time. All right, so that's the warm-up for me. So to get me started for this online mode. All right, so let's complete the part C.1 here.